Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISC podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host for today's ISC webinar, where each Tuesday we bring in special guests talking about options and how you can trade options uh, uh, regarding the FX options product so you can trade your views of the dollar relative to the major currencies. So once you understand options, uh, well, the sky's the limit. You can trade calls, puts, call spreads, put spreads. Of course, there is never any uh, one best strategy. In fact, uh, you know, we, we always advise investors to learn as much as you can about options. Uh, go to optionseducation.org uh, where you can get free seminars, uh, whether they're online or in person. Uh, you can always get the characteristics and risks of standardized options at optionseducation.org, or you can get it right here. Um, you can click on Risk Doc and actually uh, get that document. A little bit about Mike Tusa. Mike spent a lot of time with Option Express. Now he's at Know Your Options. He's a registered representative there. So he really understands options very, very well. Um, so I think you know, we're in for a great webinar in the next 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, where you can ask Mike any question you like. Just type it in the chat box. Mike will deliver his slides. Most importantly, um, you can ask Mike Tussaud any questions you'd like. So without further ado, Mike Tussaud, thanks for joining us at the IEC. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Steve. It's always a pleasure to uh, do webinars with you at the ISC site, and um, it's always a pleasure working with you, Steve. I know we've been working together for, uh, gosh, almost five years right now uh, at this stage. Um, just uh, Steve and I have traveled the country. We've actually traveled the world together several times, and uh, it's always a pleasure to work with you, Steve. Uh, right now, what I want to do is go ahead and give you guys the opportunity to download the characteristics and risks of standardized options. Uh, this is a document describing the risks that are involved with options. Uh, what you should be able, there should you should see a pop-up box right now, and you should be able to just click on download, and it should work for you. Uh, so with that, uh, if you have the ability to, or if if you are having trouble with it. Uh, type in a chat, and then what we'll do at the end of the presentation, we'll direct you to a website to where you can actually get this document, and we'll be more than happy to help you with that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a minute or so to uh, let everybody download that, and we'll continue in about 30 seconds. So Mike, really looking forward to this. You know, I get this question very often, why calendar spreads, why diagonals? So I think your presentation will be great because I know you're going to go through one versus another. Again, there's never one best strategy, and Mike's going to talk about that, but why he might use a calendar in certain circumstances and then use a diagonal in other circumstances. Correct, Mike? That is correct. You know, maybe if he had a more of a directional view, which we're not really talking about that today, he might use well, a diagonal might make sense, or even a vertical spread. But you know, he's going to really talk about diagonals and calendars more today, rather than the uh, the vertical spread. That is correct. And it's a few more seconds, and then we'll get going. Perfect. All right, well, folks, uh, if I'm going to go ahead and take off the file transfer feature for right now. Uh, if this is something that you are interested in, at the end of the presentation, uh, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll see how much time we have. We'll either uh, give you the document and we'll allow you to download it right away. Uh, also, I'll be giving away my email address at the end of the event. I'll be more than happy to deliver this to you in that format. And also, uh, you can download this document. Uh, by going to ISE.com. Uh, the document's available for free at the bottom of the ISC website. It's also available at the bottom of the Brokers Express website. 
uh, and it's also available at the bottom of the Options Express website. So uh, if you have any trouble getting this, please contact us in one of these uh, avenues. We'll be more than happy to help. Now, with that being said, I also want to mention, just as kind of a little bit of clarity, uh, I'm a registered rep for Brokers Express. Know Your Options is, uh, is the name of our company, but we broker all of our trades through Brokers Express. Uh, so just to kind of clarify uh, the way that we do it. Also, uh, I'm registered in the United States only, and I'm not registered in any foreign country, entity, state, or other jurisdiction outside of the U.S. So uh, with that, just wanted to be clear on everything so that uh, everybody knows where I'm coming from. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, today, one thing that we do want to mention, we have some points to ponder with things. The format of the presentation, as Steve was describing earlier, I'm going to speak for uh, a certain amount of time, and then at the end, what we want to make sure that happen, what we want to make sure happens, is that you get everything you want to get out of this presentation. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. I'll stay here till midnight if needed, uh, and I want you to come away with um, uh, answers to your questions. And if need be, I can show the Brokers Express website uh, in terms of how these are quoted and that type of thing if uh, you have any further questions on that. Now, points to ponder in the marketplace today. Are you neutral? Uh, with that being said, do you feel that the stock market's not going to go up or it's not going to go down? You think it's going to stay the same? Is that your sentiment? Now, with this, I plan to show a couple of specific strategies that we use uh, in general, uh, we use these strategies using ISE FX options as a hedge for the currency risk uh, of our clients. So we typically use the calendar and the diagonal spread as the strategy to hedge the portfolio against currency risk. Now, just so we know, full disclosure today, I'm not going to get into uh, specific trades, obviously, of what we're in now or what we're not in, but I do want to give you an idea of the strategy that's involved. Are you bullish neutral on the marketplace? Do you want to have a limited risk in your portfolio? As, as, when you own a stock, you have the risk of the stock. Do you want to limit your risk by only owning the option and having a smaller amount of risk? We're going to be talking about the calendar spread. We'll be going over that in some pretty decent detail. We'll also be discussing the diagonal spread. We'll be going over any time decay considerations. One thing that I think is very important is time decay. Uh, there's six factors of option pricing, and so time decay is definitely one of them. Same holds true for volatility. Volatility can move the price of an option one way or another, uh, depending on the other factors that are involved. We'll also discuss any leverage considerations. Leverage is something that's very important in trading, as well as hedging, uh, no matter what you're trading. I don't care if it's stocks, options, futures, or bonds. Leverage is something that needs to be respected. And then at the end, we'll tell you a little bit about uh, what we do. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.